Citizens, it's that time. You're officially in Alert Zone. Welcome to the Alert Zone TV. I am the Wizard, Uncle James. Hope everybody is doing good out there. Uh, let me give my camera angle here, everybody. Um, I would love for you to become an active citizen. You can do that by hitting the subscribe button, hitting the bell so you'll be notified when we drop fire content, giving the video a like, sharing, all that good stuff. If you're 18 years of age or older, practice your Second Amendment rights. It is not illegal under the Constitution. So, I just wanted to take this time out to make this little quick video. I was thinking of something today, rolling with the Metro Arms, Bobcat, got the hollows in there. Um, it's clear for YouTube, safe direction. I'm in a safe control environment in the car, YouTube, everybody. And I'm in old New Jack City mode, so I'm rolling also with the 22 long rifle, Uzi, baby Uzi, IWI. That's clear also. And I wanted to just talk about sometime traveling with multiple firearms, the benefit of it. The number one benefit of traveling with multiple firearms is if you're ever in a situation where you're outside of your home or you're far away from home and you have to defend yourself, law enforcement come out, they're going to take the firearm that you use to defend yourself, but that gives you something else to get back home safe with. Because what a lot of people don't understand about self-defense, there's people that feel like you're not entitled to self-defense doesn't matter how innocent you are how much you was minding a business your business they feel like they're entitled to run up on you rob you do whatever they want to to you and you should not be allowed to defend yourself and if you do defend yourself then you should pay a price for that it doesn't matter if it's on video that you were sitting in your car and some guys ran up on you and you got out and defended yourself it don't matter there's people that feel like you shouldn't be able to defend yourself also when you leave um, the scene of self-defense or if they take you downtown and you have to you know uh, do a report and go through the whole process there's no such thing as confidentiality there's people in a police department that know people that talk there's people that's willing to look at your face look up your social media if they can and if not, they'll go sit at the police station and watch you come out of there because they feel like their loved one should be allowed to victimize you. So that's always a good reason to have multiple firearms. Another reason to have multiple firearms is, let's just say, like today I'm rolling with this 45. And I got the baby Uzi with me. If shit hit the fan right now, I would use this first for one reason and one reason only. I didn't pay a lot of money for this firearm and it's easy to find one like this again. I get, I, I don't mind him holding on to this one because I don't carry it much anyway. This, yeah, I can find it again and what have you, but <clears throat> because I'm rolling with this today and I'm out doing errands and what have you, I would just rather have a backup firearm um, with me. And I just wanted to do a video about that. So sometimes I see people saying, well, one gun is only all you need. If you live in a place where a lot happens, you always need to think about one thing. It can happen at any time and you still got to make it home. You still got to get back home safe. So hit me in a comment and let me know what you think. Until next time, everybody out there, stay safe, stay on. Stay on high, high alert.